well it was my first picture book so that was pretty exciting and um, what really struck me about the text was moving from the cold dark city to this um, wonderful area of growth and light and nature and aesthetically that's quite an exciting thing to have to illustrate um, basically to go from black and white to colour. I guess it's a combination of looking at environments and looking at the city I live in which is London and looking at what makes a place cold or dark and then later on in the book what makes a space light and happy. Um, for the character I think I'm lucky enough to have nieces so I, I look at them and I look at people in general about how they stand, their small gestures. Um, so I just look around me basically. It is important to me, um, of course it's important and it's a really important topic nowadays but I guess when it comes to kids books I feel slightly nervous when there's a moral um, or a, a topic that comes first before the narrative and I, f I feel like here it doesn't and that the narrative comes first. It's important I think not to patronise kids or um, ram a kind of moral um, for the sake of the text and so it is important but for me it's secondary actually to a good story. Um, I don't think so, I mean I think what I think what's important is again it's about looking and I think when I showed the expanse of the dark cold city it was you know I'm looking at London and I'm thinking of New York I'm thinking of other cities but also I think one of the things I notice about living in the city is it can be quite depressing unless you look at the small bits of love and interest that go on in in what seems like quite a big, hard, cold city. And so I, I try to remember those sort of small incidents on the tube or, I don't know, with a neighbour, where you do communicate and you do correspond. And I tried to put those into the book. So I was looking at both the city as a whole and the city in its small pockets. No, no, I would never work that logically, I think. Um, being an illustrator is a funny, you know, it's a funny thing and you think your way of working is normal. Well, I guess if I put it against any other illustrators, it wouldn't be. You know, you sort of find your way of working. And mine is lots and lots of mock-ups and lots of seeing how the narrative, especially in The Promise, seeing how the narrative works from beginning, middle to end. There has to be this flow and pace. But sometimes you nail an image and then other images just take ages. So, you know, it's never gone from start to finish like that. I think it depends. I mean, I would hope that it... I think for me, living in a city again, to go back to that point of sort of, you look for those small incidents in the city, I actually would hope that if perhaps a child read it in the city, they would take notice of those. I mean, you don't have to take tea by a tree, it would be lovely, but you can talk to somebody or you could say hello. And I, I would hope that they would, they would take that, that being outside and acknowledging the people that are around you. Um, I would love them to plant trees, I would love them to perhaps look, I think the biggest, I think the thing that I ask of myself is that I look always, it's the only way I'm any good at my job and I think if I could just get a child to look more and notice things, I think that would be a great achievement.